tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with the early portions of this round. And there is the mixed martial arts legend, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. No secret as to what he's going to be trying to do in this round. Sprawl, brawl, land his power shots. The former champion successfully defended the belt three times and believes if he can get a knockout here tonight, Dana White's going to have no choice but to put him back on the radar. <laughs> there from bottom position. Big ground and pound. Choice pass attempt denied. Oh, right into mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Liddell's in half guard. Gotta be very careful there. He does a great job of getting to his position, landing effective strikes, and now his opponent's starting to swell. Just over three minutes to go. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you gotta shrimp, you gotta get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open him right up. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Liddell's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Clean with that offering. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. Back 
to his feet. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other in. Oh, Take one of them. In the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, nice right in. Come on, come All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? All right, round two. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. So we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. 
So the Korean Superboy, Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy 